Today marks the 10th anniversary of Resident Evil 5. The game launched on March 5th, 2009 for the PS3 and Xbox 360 in Japan. Instead of waiting until the 13th, the North American release, I decided to put this up today to get ahead of the upcoming clout of March games. Now, I don't often do retrospectives on single games, but it's something I want to try more, especially for games I only played once. At the time around this launch, my college was entering spring break, meaning one thing and one thing only, getting caught up on video games. That weekend, my friend and I looked for a co-op game to rent when we stumbled upon Resident Evil 5. Even though he had never played any of these games before, he agreed to give it a shot. Fueled by Domino's Pizza and liters of coke, we beat that game in a single sitting. It took us until daybreak without sleep, but we finally accomplished our goal before passing out around 6am. On the other side of the campus, two of my gal pals mastered that game, playing co-op every day for the rest of that semester, beating it on every difficulty and unlocking everything. I should also mention I had the benefit of playing the game on a 50 inch TV, whereas they shared a 19 inch one. They were hardcore is what I'm getting at. Personal stories aside, I didn't remember much before jumping back in 10 years later via this PS4 remaster other than that beginning area. So I guess the question on your mind might be, if you too haven't played since 2009, does it hold up? Well, I'm going to softball that one for now and say yes and no. I guess the first thing I should discuss is my experience playing it solo for the first time, which really was like playing a new game. As a character, I thought Sheva was a cool addition, however, her eye is truly, truly awful. She wasted ammo and health like they were candy on Halloween. She soon became my pack mule because I couldn't trust her with the responsibility of conservation. That inventory loop of rearranging both my inventory and hers in real time was nauseating. On the subject of ammo supplies, the main thing I wrestled with in this playthrough was the weird dichotomy behind the first half and the later half. That is to say, the game threw a lot of enemies at you, too many to kill with ammo given, forcing you to run away a lot of the times unless it was a closed off area and you actually had to fight. I should also mention that you still couldn't move and shoot in this game, making these encounters that much more tense, but not in a good way. About halfway through, the game then transforms into a cover shooter, giving you more than enough ammo on top of weaponizing soldiers. I honestly screamed, what the hell is going on? I really didn't remember this part at all. Speaking of what the hell moments, let's talk about the story. You know the one where Chris somehow takes steroids, bulks up, goes to Africa, and experiences the same setup Leon did as in Resident Evil 4, except with a lot more Matrix-inspired action. You know, like when he punches a boulder in a volcano, or how about the fact that they foreshadow Jill being the mysterious masked figure a thousand times over and then act like it's a big surprise when she finally takes off the mask? Or what about, uh, <laughs> these guys? A little racist much? I don't know. It's all over the place, campy and fun in some ways, but then a bit too up its own ass in others. Resident Evil 5 was like a half step in the right direction and 17 steps in the wrong one, giving birth to an even bigger identity crisis, Resident Evil 6, but uh, that's for another year. Overall, despite some lagging problems, I did have fun and was even itching to replay it again because New Game Plus is just that amazing. Going back to the beginning with more powered up weapons and wiping out the infection like some kind of grease stain felt great and I'm sure it would be even better once again with a partner. Think about it like this, as a Resident Evil game, maybe it doesn't stack up to the bests, but as a horror themed co-op RPG, well, then it's pretty good. If you like this video and want to see more from me, then subscribe to my channel and also check out my articles over at The Gamer. All these links and more are in the description notes below. Thanks for watching.